evening, everybody. I am sorry for the delay. I would like to call the meeting to order. Um, roll call, Mrs. Burns, please. Mrs. Hallenbeck? Present. Mr. Cerullo is absent with prior notice. Mr. Allen? Present. Mrs. Bowman? Here. Mr. Kovitz? Here. Mrs. Lafferty? Here. Mr. Rodriguez? Here. Mr. Sporny? Here. And Mr. Sullivan is absent with prior notice. We have a quorum. Thank you. Will everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? The board met in executive session this evening prior to this meeting to discuss matters of employment, issues related to labor relations, the purchase or lease of real property, matters related to litigation, and matters related to school safety and security. Mrs. Burns, are there any announcements? No announcements. Mr. Bowman, superintendent's report, please. Thank you, Ms. Allenbach. Uh, so we are almost two weeks into our school year. We're pleased to report our opening days went very smoothly. Uh, a lot of happy faces as we go building the building, and we're looking forward to all the great activities that the fall seasons bring here in the Chamonix. I want to thank our teachers, our support staff for everything they did to make our students feel welcome and excited about the new school year and our transportation department for tackling all of the start of the year schedule and route adjustments needed to make sure our students get to and from school safely and on time. This past Friday, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro visited Maple Point Middle School and spent an hour uh, with a group of fifth and sixth grade students as they ate their breakfast. He highlighted the state funded breakfast program that is running in all of our schools this year, which offers all students, regardless of family income, a free breakfast every day at school. Uh, over at the high school last week, we welcomed members of the Franks family back to the stadium for a rededication ceremony. Prior to the football game, three of Harry and Joan Franks' children were able to attend the on-field ceremony in person during which a new sign was unveiled on the press box, rededicating the stadium to Harry E. Franks, who was a football coach and later athletic director at the high school in the 1950s. Harry passed away in 2007. His wife, Joan, who was a teacher in the district for 42 years and just happened to be my kindergarten teacher at Tawanka Elementary School, passed away last year, uh, but I know for certain this rededication would have meant so much to her and certainly means a lot to the entire Franks family. This week is in Chamonix Goes Gold Week with a variety of theme days and fundraisers to support pediatric cancer research. This event started last year by requesting student Sarah Harvey, herself a cancer survivor. Congratulations to her for pulling, all to get, pulling together such a meaningful activity in the district. Finally, we're looking forward to back to school nights coming up later this month. Information about dates and schedules can be found on the district website and emails from your principals. That's all I have, Ms. Hombach. Thank you, Mr. Bowman. With that, I'd like to make a master motion. 2.01, administrative appointment of acting superintendent. 2.0. Is there anybody signed up for public no comments? Signups. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and excuse me, Tina, 2.01 should be separate. My apologies if I wasn't clear. Okay, I'm going to start over now. Reset. Reset. Okay, 2.01, administrative appointment of acting superintendent. Whereas this is a vacancy in the office as superintendent as of September 1st, 2023. Whereas the board of school directors of the Neshaminy School District desires to appoint Jason M. Bowman to serve as acting superintendent of the school district for a term of up to one year. And whereas Jason M. Bowman is agreeable to serve as acting superintendent in accordance with the term of the acting super superintendent contract prepared and approved by the solicitor of the school district. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the board of school directors appoint Jason M. Bowman to be acting superintendent of the school district for a one year maximum term with a start date of September 1st, 2023 pursuant to and accordance with Pennsylvania Public Code of 1949 as amended. And be it further resolved that the Board of School Directors approves the acting superintendent contract between the school district and Jason M. Bowman, prepared and approved by the solicitor of the school district and presented to the board 
to the Board of School Directors at this meeting, and the Board authorizes the Board President and Secretary to execute said contract on behalf of the school district. Did John Torrente write this? <laughs> There's a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? I believe second. so. <laughs> second by Mr. Allen. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Vote passes 7 0. And I'm sorry to interrupt again, but I have two comments on that once you. Okay. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like to put on the record that the contract is for a term of up to one year because this is what the school code. This is only what the school code allows for this particular per position. And also like to put on the record the salary, which is $206,000. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to say some more words, Mr. Bremer? I'd just like to thank the board uh, for their support uh, and for their confidence. Uh, it's, a, it's a true pleasure to work on behalf of and represent this community. We have a, uh, a, a very talented group of Administrators here, a tremendous cabinet uh, to work with. Our teaching staff is tremendous. Our support staff is amazing. It's just a great place to work. It's a great place to be every day. Uh, and I look forward to continuing to serve this community in this capacity. So again, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Roman. Now, I'd like to make a master motion. For 2.02 .02 administrative retirements resignation. 2.03 administrative appointments, 2.04 certificated retirements resignations, 2.05 certificated appointments, 2.06 certificated sixth period, 2.07 certificated leave of absence, 2.08 certificated revised leaves of absence, 2.09 certificated co-curricular appointments, 2.10 certificated ancillary appointments, 2.11 support retirement resignations, 2.12 support appointments, 2.13 support leaves of absence, and 2.14 support revised leaves of absence. There is a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second by Mr. Rodriguez. Any questions, comments, or concerns? I, I'd just like to make a comment um, regarding the retirement of Kevin Hastings, 32 years in the district. Um, thank you for your service to our children and our district. Thank Congratulations you. on your retirement. Thank you. I was getting ready to mention that as well. We also have two administrative appointments in the audience that will let speak after this motion is over or wave to everybody. Um, any other questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Vote passes 7-0. Yes. So with us this evening, we have our two newest administrators to Neshaminy School District, uh, two new assistant principals, um, Vanessa Robinson, which will start at Neshaminy High School in early November, replacing Mr. Mueller, and Roberta Simahowski, Bobby Simahowski, will be replacing Lynn Knotts early, <laughs> early January. I'm assuming from the wave that neither of you would like to say any any words at the podium. A few words, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, three minutes. No. <laughs> okay, I am super excited to be part of the Chamonix community. Um, I appreciate the opportunity, and I will do my best to make sure that every single student that I come in contact with at the high school and within the Chamonix is successful. You have my utmost diligence and um, appreciation for being given this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to thank everyone for this opportunity. Uh, it's really special 
to be able to come home to Nishamani, uh, where I started my my career and, and hope to finish my career here at Nishamani and serving the community and all of the students uh, that I have the opportunity to work with um, is really an honor and privilege, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Congratulations, and, and thank you uh, to the both of you for being here. Welcome to Nishamini, and we greatly look forward to having you uh, as an addition to our administrative team here. Mrs. Bowman, please. I'd like to make a motion 2.15 out of district placement revision. Whereas, in order to meet the educational programming needs of specific students, it may be advantageous to utilize the services of out-of-district providers. And whereas the attached out-of-district placement agreement between the Chamonix School District and HMS School for student number 8XXXX9 was approved at the August 22, the August 22nd, 2023 public board meeting. And whereas the contract for student number 8 XXXX9 has been adjusted to reflect a lower cost for tuition. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Nishamini Board of School Directors hereby approves the out of district placement for student number 8 XXXX9. Thank you, Mrs. Bowman. There's been a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second by Mr. Kovitz. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Vote passes 7-0. Mr. Kovitz, please. I'd like to make a motion for 2.16 student settlement agreement. Whereas the Nishamni School District has outlined a private and confidential agreement with the family of student 7XXXXX9. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Nishamni Board of School Directors hereby approves providing for the educational programming as specified in said agreement. Thank you, Mr. Kovitz. There's a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second by Mrs. Bowman. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Vote passes 7. Mr. Allen, please. Thank you, Ms. Hombeck. Uh, I'd like to place a motion on the floor. Uh, agenda item 2.17, Federal State Funded Personnel Summary. Resolved that the Nishamani Board of School Directors hereby reaffirm the following previously appointed certified and support personnel are funded with federal or state grant allocations. And there are 18 names under the grant funded personnel summary for 2023-24. Thank you, Mr. Allen. There's a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second. Second by Mr. Kovitz. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Vote passes 7-0. Mr. Sporney, please. Sure, thank you, Ms. Halliba. Uh, I'd like to make a motion 2.18 NHS field turf change order, whereas the Nishamini Board of School Directors made significant improvements to the high school fields and whereas it has been determined that the seating area for the multi-purpose field is not sufficient for the seating needed, and whereas in any construction project there may be change orders which need to be approved, now therefore be it resolved that the Nishamini Board of School Directors hereby approves District Business Administrator slash Acting Superintendent to authorize the attached change order with field turf, subject to review and revisions if necessary and approved by the district solicitor in an amount of $21,044.67 with one attachment. Thank you, Mr. Sporney. There is a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second. Second by Mr. Allen. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Vote passes 7-0. Items for approval at the public board meeting. Um, 3.01, routine business matters. 3.02, student settlement agreements. 3.03, homebound instructions. 3.04, Sunday facility usage. 
And that's all that we have so far on the next agenda for our next meeting. Um, committee reports. I will start with that business operations. We are supposed to have a meeting September 20th. It is um, to be determined if we are having that or not. More information will come out if we do, in fact, have that meeting. Um, educational development, Mrs. Bowman. Sure. Um, the Educational Development Committee is meeting next Tuesday, September 19th, 630 here in the boardroom. So if anybody wants to join us, please join us. Um, the facilities and planning meeting was supposed to be the 14th, which was Thursday. That meeting has been canceled. And we do not yet have a policy committee meeting scheduled. It's October, so we'll, we have time to remind the public to have all the words come out for that one. Um, the IU board, Mr. Sorello is not here. I do not have anything of interest or importance to add to that, unless I'm missing something. Um, the Chamonix Education Foundation. The board of the Chamonix Education Foundation met here at Maple Point yesterday afternoon. They reviewed their yearly financial report, which showed a big increase in donations uh, last year, thanks to some new initiatives and very successful fundraising activities. The foundation thanks the Nishamni community for their generosity and the Nishamni district staff members who provide support through the Paycheck Donation Program. Plans are underway for a district-wide fundraising castle ball tournament to be held here uh, to, I'm sorry, to be held in October with a championship round for winning teams for each elementary and middle school to be held in November. The NEF will be raffling off a package of four lower level tickets to the Eagles 49ers home game on Sunday, December 3rd, starting this week. The package also includes parking and a basket of Eagles themed items, including an autographed Jason Kelsey photograph. Uh, raffle tickets can be purchased at upcoming the Chamonix home football games and other events to be announced, and a winner, a lucky winner, will be drawn on September. Uh, sorry, November 9th, November seventh. Excuse me, November seventh is the day. The next NEF board meeting is scheduled for Monday, October 9th at 4 p.m. here at Maple Point. Members of the community are invited to attend and participate. That's all I got. Thank you, Mr. Kovitz. Miss Lafferty, anything to report? Nothing to report at this time. Um, the technical school, Mr. Allen. Yes, thank you, Ms. Hollenbeck. Um, on August 28th, 7.30, the Bucks County Technical High School Joint Board met for much like we did this evening, um, start of school year uh, housekeeping of, uh, you know, uh, appointments, resignations, um, et cetera. So not much there to report except uh, a couple dates I'd like to point out that the Back to school night for the tech school is September 28th. I don't have a time on that, but I'm sure you can check the website. Um, adult education courses that I rarely mention, but they they're, if you go to the Bucks County Technical High School website at bcths.com, the adult education courses are listed. They will start the week of September 25th. There's still time to register, though, for anyone who might be interested in the community. Um, just want to give a quick update because I know that some of our students were uh, dismissed early on September 5th because, as luck would have it, we, over the summer, we had a number of air conditioning rooftop units that were to be delivered. We had a crane set up and everything, and that had to keep being canceled because of supply chain issues. Um, and the fact that the manufacturer, to keep the warranty intact, insists that they are on site to start the unit up. Uh, in the meantime, we brought in some um, temporary cooling units because school was starting in the meantime, and they, of course, failed because that's just how life goes. So on the 5th, they were, there were some early dismissals. Um, interestingly, uh, Mark Colesman, our new assistant director, has a background in construction management and rode herd over the contractors to make sure that the new unit finally got here. It was put in Saturday, September 9th, just passed, and 
is up and running. So all good news on that part. Other than that, uh, I will just, something I failed to mention, Mr. Hank DeGeorge, who is now the assistant administrative director, um, this was his first meeting, and I, I failed to mention to the Neshaminy community that George is a Neshaminy graduate. So we're all quite proud of him and our connections to the, to the tech school just keep getting deeper. That's all I have, other than the next meeting is September 18th, 7.30 in tech school boardroom. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Allen. That brings us to our second portion of public comment. Would anybody like to come up to the podium to have a word? Any future topics that anybody would like to bring forth? Um, that brings us to board comment. Does anybody have any board comment? Real quick, uh, just wanted to wish everybody a, a, a great and exciting new school year. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be the best year ever. Uh, we always look forward to things this time, uh, this time each year, especially as a, you know, it gets a little crazy, of course, the first few days of school. But uh, as, a, as a fellow educator, uh, I sympathize, but I think it's gonna be a good year and uh, wishing everyone really well. Thank you. Thank you, does anybody else have any board comment? I too would like to echo the welcome back to all of our kids and administrators and staff, teachers, support staff. Welcome back to school. I hope all of the kids like their schedules, like their teachers. Oh, they got a bad lunch, didn't get a good lunch. It'll all work itself out. I also, too, would like to welcome our two new AP um, administrators for the high school. Welcome. We look forward to working with you. And that is all I have. Other than I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Can I have a second, please? Second, second by Mr. Rodriguez. Everybody have a great night. Thank you. <laughs>